today I'm going to be showing you how to make an image slider, very much like the homepage slider that you see here. So let's begin our page with a template like this. You have your doc type, HTML tag, head tag, and body tag. And let's give it a page title name. Let's call it homepage slider tutorial. What's next is that we're going to be using jQuery library. And you can get this by going to Google and type in jQuery download. Click on download. Download. And always try to get the latest, always try to get the latest version. Right click on the mini file. Click on mini file. Then click copy link address. Put your, put your link address here. Okay. What's next is that we're going to be using a plugin. And for the sake of it, I like to use jQuery.flexslider.js. I really like this plugin the most. To find out more, you can Google Flexslider, go to their site, and download their file onto your hard drive. The file will extract, and the two files that you really need is the flexslider.css and this file, jQuery.flexslider.js, which is the one that I have here. And I also need the flexslider.css file. What's next is that I'm going to be using a wrapper. And I have to give it a class to match the plugin that I'll be using, class flexslider. I begin my list. And again, this is mandatory. I have to give it a class called class slice. And I give it some list with an image, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. If you try to save right now, it's not going to work. Why? Because we haven't tell the script to run yet. What's really important now is that you need to tell jQuery, when the document is ready, initiate this flex slider. And this is where it's jQuery is looking into your flex slider class the one that you declare over here. And it's initiating the flex slider based upon this plugin. And, and it's telling the animation to have a slide animation and run the slide show automatically. Slide show true. Save this file. Go to your browser. Refresh. Well, there you go. And the slide show should happen right now. And what's nice is that you can use your left and right arrow to move between images. Left, right. Right, left. Left, right. I like to give it an H1 tag. Refresh. Uh, this image slider doesn't really center, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell CSS to center align that H1 tag. I try to get the section wrapper, I put it there, and I'll tell let to everything Within the section wrapper, align the text to have a center position. Refresh. Well, there you go. Pretty cool, hey? Happy coding from NATO Net Web Design.